an optronic sensor system is a combination of photography, videography, engineering, image processing and design innovation. Most optronic engineers work on steady systems, installed securely on stable platforms with an easy view of a target scene. This is not the case for Ashir Bachu, who works on surveillance operations in safety and security where deployment is most often on a moving ship or aircraft and under imperfect conditions. He is tasked to mathematically and scientifically improve images received from various surveillance systems. My background is actually computer science, so I developed a lot of computer algorithms and we use these computer algorithms to solve uh, problems for, for particular clients. Um, for this field in, in particular, which is image processing, we have to process video data and image data to present a solution for, for some sort of problem. One clear example of a typical problem is, is for our main client, the, the South African military. And they come to us with, with video footage, for example, that has um, targets out at sea. And more often than not, these targets are not clearly visible. My job to solve this sort of problem is to write a computer algorithm based on a lot of research, a lot of background work, which tries to make that target a bit more clearly visible. Um, if that can be done, then obviously the, the data is more useful to the, the captain on the ship. One of the more interesting projects I've worked on is to detect and track targets for the South African Navy. In that sort of situation, the, the data can be uh, corrupted with noise, the targets can be extremely small. More often than not, the camera is also moving due to wind. Uh, if it's mounted on the, on the ship, there's a lot of platform motion. And we need to actually register images to stabilize the, the video data for, for further processing. My career satisfaction comes from solving very difficult problems. Um, I guess there's a sense of prestige when we solve something that's really complicated and we can say, no one else could do that, but I solved it. My job in Korea helps me protect the citizens of South Africa. In typical situations on the border, we have cameras looking at illegal immigrants coming across. And what we may want to do in these situations is actually improve the video data so we can find people that we are looking for. There are two misconceptions in my type of job. The first one is people think we work like CSI Los Angeles. That actually is not very true. We cannot make things appear in video that does not actually exist there. A second misconception of my job is that science and technology or science and mathematics is extremely difficult. I must confess that at the early stages of this sort of career, it can be extremely daunting, but one has to put in a lot of passion, a lot of hard work, and a lot of perseverance to reach the point where I am. At this stage of my career, I can say it's actually a blast, it's fun, it's extremely easy, and you'll love it every minute. I consider myself to be a scientist, so the typical characteristics I would expect of someone is a love of mathematics, science, and to have an analytical and problem-solving mind. More often than not, you would want to think outside the box. The mathematics is simply a tool to solve problems, but you actually have to put it together to find the answer. My advice to a student that wants to pursue a career like mine is this. When I was growing up, and also when I was at campus, I found that mathematics and science used to be quite difficult. But what gave me a real passion for learning was that I was not daunted by the task. My goal was actually to learn and solve these difficult problems say that I have actually done it. So I just persevered. I would say keep at it, work hard and continue. If you want to pursue a career like mine, it's quite simple. You need to have a love for mathematics, computer science and a bit of engineering. So my best advice is do well at school, do the science courses and tackle a computer science or an electronic engineering degree at any university. I love working at the CSR because I can be creative and define my career at the same time. What's quite important as well is that I can still satisfy the client's needs and solve his problems while not impacting on my future plans.